Hey guys, um, progressive top to toe workout for you today. Allow yourself about 30 minutes. I'm going to take Kelly through the exercises so you can do it alongside her. If you've got a resistant band, grab it now. A couple of hand weights if you don't have a band or a couple of tins from your pantry. Let's get going. So I'll get Kelly to start with a walk. So if you've got a large room, you can walk around the room. Um, if you want to take it outside, you can go around your backyard. Um, this will be the part that you can take some recovery in if you need it. If you're feeling like you want a bit more fitness work, take it into a jog like Kelly is now. Okay, once you've done about eight times up and back, then we'll get started with your first exercise. Good to go, Kel? Yep. Okay, okay, squats. So eight squats, feet just outside the hips. Let your hips sit back and down as you squat like you're about to sit in a chair. Chest is lifted away from your thighs. So keep the heels grounded and a little squeeze through the glutes as you come up. Now, plank reach. Can you see how Kelly's got that long, flat spine? So she's gonna reach out left and right eight times, trying to stabilize her hips as much as possible here. Brace through the core, so draw your belly in to stabilize those hips. Once you've done your eight reaches, we're gonna jump up for the rows. So you grab your band if you've got it and loop it underneath your feet. Okay, as you row, a little squeeze into the middle of the back. So squeeze the shoulder blades together. Good, take the elbows out nice and wide. If you've got your hand weights, do the same thing with the hand weights or your tins of food or your water bottles. Good, right into that upper back. Are you counting, Kel? I didn't yep, count. I'm <laughs> <laughs> A hand release push up. So when Kelly comes down to the floor, she's going to release her hands off the floor before she pushes back up. Now, really important here, draw your belly button in so that lower back is not arching as you push off the floor. Nice. Good. Once you've done your eight, you're up, Kel, for lunges. So set yourself up with that 90-90 position. So each knee is trying to hit that 90 degree angle. We're gonna do eight reps on one side before we change over to the other side. That's gonna allow you real focus on that front heel staying down and straight up tall at the top. Good. Now if you notice Kelly's knee is tracking roughly in line with her ankle here when she lunges. We wanna be careful the knee is not going forward of the toes. Good, how many is that? <laughs> okay, drop down onto your back for your heel taps. So a little core one here. So I need you to push your lower back into the floor. Good, now tap the heel with a bent leg. So this is really for the lower abdominals. You need to make sure that you're melting your body into the mat here. Get the core engaged. Yep, yeah. So left and right is one rep. Move on to eight. Good, keep making sure that lower back is in contact with the mat. <laughs> okay, flip over onto your stomach. So we call this one a sea turtle. So really good here for lower back and glutes. So swim yourself out and then lower back down to the floor. Good, so notice when Kelly comes down, she looks at the floor as well. She keeps the length in her neck as she comes back down. Good, now squeeze through the glutes to protect the lower back at the same time. Nice. Band, shoulder press. So if you've got the band, you're gonna split your feet and put the band underneath that back knee. If you've got your hand weight, just one hand weight in each side, up nice and tall. Now super important here, hips and shoulders are in line, core is braced, so that when she pushes, she doesn't arch her back as she comes up nice and tall. Good, how's the blue band, Kel? Oh. <laughs> a little tougher than the red one that we use sometimes. <laughs> okay, last one, let's get a little spike in that heart rate. So a lateral shuffle, touch the floor. So one, two, three, touch the floor. One, two, three, touch the floor. So when you touch the floor, I need you to bend your knees so that you're not putting extra pressure on your back. Good. Side to side. Are you counting? I'm not counting at all today. I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trust. I have trust and faith in you that you're doing your eight reps. I think there's two more. Yep. All right. Side. Okay, so go back to your walk 
or if you're feeling like you want a little extra fitness, you can keep it to a jog. So guys, just walk or jog it a few laps around until you feel ready to start the round again. You've done the whole round, now we're gonna go through again. So what we're gonna go and do now is get Kelly to progress the moves a little bit. So we might do half and half. Half at an intermediate level, and then half we're gonna ramp it up a little. Good to go? Good to okay, go. eight squats. Start with the heels planted. Good, now do one more like that. Now see if you can add a jump. Drop, push, drop, push. So this is your advanced option if you wanna take it on. Good. <laughs> so as you reach for that plank now, straighten out and lengthen a little bit further. So fingers all the way through. Good, so notice Kelly's taking the knees off the floor this time. Really being careful to stabilize the hips so we don't get that rock and roll motion as we lift the arm. If you need to, drop back to the knees, that's fine. When you've done your A, grab your band. And we'll set up for the rows again. <laughs> Malfunction. Okay, so a little bend in the knees, draw the belly button in. Good. Now imagine you've got that pencil right between your shoulder blades, squeeze and draw it in. Good. That's it, don't forget to breathe. <laughs> Good, okay, drop down for those push-ups. So all the way down. So again, hand release, push yourself back up again. Hand release, push yourself back up again. So this is the area we wanna focus on bracing the core and making sure we don't have a massive dip in that lower back as we drop. We're gonna try a couple off the knees. So big drop, push. It's all about progression, Kel. It's all about progression. Push, good. Is that your last one? Good. So lunges. So set yourself up again, nice and long. Okay, so drop the knee. Down up, good. Now if you want to add a little extra, lift the knee as you come up. So drop, lift, drop, lift, good, stop it. So set up first, so on the spot, so remember you can absolutely stay on the spot, you don't have to add the knee lift, but if you want to, half on the spot, half with the knee lift now. Maybe knee lift like it's school holidays and your kids are standing in front of you. <laughs> A little bit of power to that knee. <laughs> okay, heel taps. Okay, so set yourself up first. So you can like do a little wiggle into the mat before she starts. <laughs> now if you start to take the heel a little bit further away from the butt, it makes the move harder. So your body will automatically want to lift in the middle. I need you to draw that belly button in, hold the core down as the heel taps the floor. Good. Good chance to catch your breath as well. <laughs> Not at all disappointed that I can't exercise at the moment. <laughs> Last one. Good. Flip yourself over for the sea turtles. Okay, so try and bring yourself around a little wider and back in again. Good. So exercises like this don't seem like much, but it's super important for you to get the strength in the glutes and the lower back to support the other exercises that you're doing. Good. Squeeze and long. I'm trying to think if I've ever seen a sea turtle do that. But... <laughs> <laughs> Shoulder press and you're ready. <laughs> so yeah, you can't talk while you do a sea turtle. So on the knee, good. That's it. Now you can't see it here, but Kel's lucky enough to actually have a mirror in front of us right now. So she can see if she's even left and right. So it is a good idea to check in with that. Just pay attention to these things as you're working out at home. Good. <laughs> Lateral shuffle. So we're back to that little kick in the heart rate. One, two, three, touch. One, two, three, touch. I'll count you this time, okay? Thank you. Three. <laughs> Four. Now do you want to add a jump? Little extra, touch, good. So push up and touch. See, I would've done the opposite. I would've touched and jumped, but you know, each to their own. Last one, last one, last one. Good. Yeah, go on, go on. Okay, walk it out. <laughs> okay, two rounds done. 
So if you still feel like you want the extra kick, jog. Jog out around your backyard, jog to the letterbox, or walk and breathe here. If you need a drink, grab your drink bottle now, have a drink while you're walking it out. I'm gonna make Kelly do one more round. If you wanted to, you could make it a four round circuit, but we'll do one more round for today. How are you feeling, Kel? Pretty good. Ready to go again? <laughs> right. Let's do it. Okay, now, what I want you to do is ramp up everything. Okay. So squats become eight squat jumps. Ooh. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, big power, one, good. Down on the floor. So set up a plank. Now if you wanna add the extra, we've got the arm and the opposite leg going at the same time. Okay, if you need to, take the legs out or drop your knees to the floor to do this one. I'll slow it down. Yeah. Good opportunity to breathe when we do these core ones. Lengthen, good. Grab that band, set up for the rows again. So lock it down in that half squat, draw the belly button in. Okay, now squeeze, shoulder blades come together in the middle. Good. Now really emphasize the squeeze at the top. That's it. Good. <laughs> well, you like the blue. <laughs> okay, push ups. So hand release. How many can you do on your toes? Okay, release the hands. One. Push. Up. Push. Good, so the belly button's drawn in. We're thinking about one long line through the body as you push and up, good. Six. Last one. Eight. See, you Ooh. can. <laughs> okay. I was gonna say, are you going to heel taps? I want lunges. <laughs> Don't skimp out on the lunges. All right, knee lift. Two. Knee lift, yep. All the way down, all the way up. So remember the front heel is always grounded. <laughs> Core for stability. <laughs> Good. That must be eight, yeah? <laughs> so put over. So the other thing when you lunge is to notice the alignment knee to toe. So we're always trying to keep that alignment there. Drive. Good. Yeah. So adding the knee lift does really challenge your balance and stability. So we add that core element by adding the knee lift. Last one. Okay, good, now you can drop it down onto the back. <laughs> okay, do you wiggle into the mat? Okay, the further the heels move away, the harder the exercise becomes. Good. The lower back wants to arch off the mat here. So draw the belly button in and keep yourself anchored to the mat for that core engagement. Good, stretch it out. So definitely one of those ones that looks a bit easier. Yeah, it's yep. Yep. So often with core exercises like this, I like to close my eyes so I can really focus on the abdominal work that you're doing. So flip over for the sea turtle. <laughs> okay, round and down. Good. Good. So remember the squeeze through the glutes keeps it safe for the lower back as you lift. That's it. That's it. Keep breathing with the move. And remember to take your head down with you to the floor when you come back down so you're not overstressing through the neck. Good. Did you count? I didn't count. Good. <laughs> and your band for your shoulder press. Okay, now we don't need to advance the shoulder press. Back knee on, step it out. In the middle there. <laughs> so remember, we've got the core engaged so that we're not wobbling around as we do it and trying to push even left and right as you come up. Good. So notice Kelly's keeping tension on the band by not dropping her elbows all the way back down to the bottom. Eight, and lateral shuffle. Can you eight times tap and jump? 
Tap, jump, eight. <laughs> Tap, jump, seven. Tap, jump, good. Good, last little bit of heart rate spike, Kel. So see if you can drive off the floor, up to the top, tap. Adding an extra tap. Yeah, off you go. <laughs> I stopped counting now. <laughs> last one. Job done. Imaginary high fives. Okay, guys, three rounds of your workout done. So let's see if we can finish you off with the finisher. We're going to do three rounds of four different exercises. So we'll start you off with 12 reps for the first round, 10 reps for the second round, and then eight reps for the last round. How are you feeling, Kel, you ready? Yep, ready to go. Good to go. So you've got a weight plate if you want to, you can add for your squat press, or we fill the milk with water, which weighs about two kilos. So two litre bottle, two kilos. So the first exercise is a squat press. So bend, press, bend, press. So 12 reps to start you off for the first round. Just make sure we're locking the heels down to the floor and add a squeeze through the glutes as you come up. So every time you add the overhead work, it'll help to spike your heart rate. Where are we at? Good. Drop. Nice. Okay, mountain climbers. So Kelly's gonna set her hands underneath her shoulders and run through, good. So the quicker you go with the knees, the more the heart rate will come up. If you're going nice and quick like this, I'd probably count to 24, 30 reps, rather than just your 12. Good. So we call this one a power lunge. So turn side on, Kel, yep. So lunge down to the floor, like you're about to take off at the start line. Add a little hop at the top if you can. If you need to, take out the jump at the top. So just bend and lift, that's it. So it's almost like you're getting ready to sprint, and then you're gonna take off from the bottom. Good, don't forget you're gonna 12 and then swap it over to the other side. Okay, so bottom to top jump, bottom to top, good. So don't forget this is spiking your heart rate, so you need to keep breathing as you're working through. Good, use the floor to power off the floor, get a little heel to toe action as you push. Last one. Good. Okay, big breath as you drop down to the floor. So we're going to do a reverse crab walk. So this is going to engage through the core as well as a little bit of tricep work there as well. So walk yourself backwards. Keep yourself nice and tight. You might need to turn it around and flip yourself around again. Good. So hips just off the floor. Squeeze through the arms. Drop. Well done. Okay, take a breath as you get up, Kel. A little breather. Round two. We're going to shorten it down now, 10 reps for each. So squat press to start. So remember, squat like you're about to sit on a chair and then power from the bottom, add the press to the top. Good, so breathing as you work. Done? Yeah, <laughs> how quickly does two kilos add up? <laughs> okay, mountain climbers. So remember, shoulders above the wrists. Good, run it through. So you're doing 20 now? 24. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. Run through, good. So notice Kel's bringing the knees to the middle for this one just to get that heart rate spike a little quicker. So power the lunge, bottom, top, good. Bottom, top. So it's a finisher. You should feel the spike in your heart rate. You should be feeling breathless and sort of really regretting that third round. Good, don't forget to swap. 10, and then swap it over. Big breath. Okay, like you're about to take off from the start line. So bend nice and low, bend the knees, take off, push off the floor. Jump, good. I love that I don't have to do this. <laughs> good, okay, set your crab walk up. Okay, so squeeze into the triceps, lift the chest, walk through. Good, flip yourself around, take it back. Nice, I can hear Kel's heart rate coming up. She's a bit breathless. We're gonna push her through one more round. It's okay if you need to take a little second here. Breathe, reset the shoulders. Now we're moving on to eight reps. Squat, press. So use that power in the squat to drive the press back up again. Notice Kel keeps the weight away from her thighs. Chest stays tall, good. You always want the exhale on the most work, so as the press comes up. 
Okay, 16, run through. Shoulders above the hands. Good, notice how long and flat Kel's back is. Really engaging through the core. Okay, favorite, is it your favorite? Yeah, it's all my clients' favorite. Good, seven, good, drop, six, push, five, push, four, three, two, one. Stop it over. Okay, bottom, top, seven, top, good, six, five, nice and low, use the drive up, two, one, all the way, yep, done. Okay, reverse the crab walk, lift the chest, roll the shoulders back. Push through, back. Okay, flip it, last bit. Walk it, walk it, walk it. Crab it. <sighs> Done. <laughs> Did it finish you? <laughs> Three rounds in the workout. Three rounds in the finisher. Should leave you breathless at the end and feel like you've got a whole body workout top to toe. Do it guys, let us know how you go. See ya. See ya.